welcome to this video. Today's video is part two, two. part two of Yoseka's Holiday Gift Guide 2023 for, for stationary lovers. Um, <laughs> and if you missed part one, that video was featuring um, our gifts for stationary lovers right. in your life. And this list is completely based off of our uh, Holiday 2023 Gift Guide for Stationary Lovers like blog post that I wrote up a little while ago and there's different categories in it for the different types of stationary lovers in your life. So we did a general stationary lover video for part one and today's video is going to be on the fountain pen collector in your life. Fountain pens, yeah. <laughs> Today's video is gift ideas for the fountain pen collector in your life. Yeah. Um, so we have a few items for uh, you to think about. And uh, if you're not a fountain pen lover, I can understand that gifting for a fountain pen lover is a very daunting task. Can you it imagine is, if you don't it, know anything it, it, about fountain very pens? Hard. Yeah. Um, this is very hard because yeah. <laughs> when people come in the store, it's, yeah. it's such a personal thing. It's so personal. Yeah. yeah. So I need, I basically have like this, the like 10 questions I ask. I know, questions. sometimes I'm like, have you seen a single <clears throat> pen in their collection and can you describe what it looks like to me? Right. Do they, are they a lefty? Do they write small or right, big? Right, right, right. Like, like <laughs> all these it, questions. Exactly, yeah. So, well, I'm I'm seeing your list. This is my first time looking at. Yes, yes. So yeah. this is Neil's first time looking at these yeah. items. Yeah. So for the fountain pen itself. Yeah. I do think it, it has to be like, if you know this person has this pen, like is aware. Yeah. Right. It's um you know if it's if if this person has never mentioned anything about this pen, maybe it might be like a, a little risky risky thing to get. Yes, but I also picked things that like I feel like are crowd pleasers. So we'll start with the actual fountain pens themselves, even okay. though there are things on this list that are not just fountain pens. Here on our pen tray are three fountain pens that I've selected for the fountain pen lover in your life. Right. Now I'll start with um, I'll start with this one on the right. This is the Pilot Vanishing Point Conrecki uh, 60th Anniversary Fountain Pen. So I'll tell you why this is cool. Okay, I'll tell you why this is okay. cool. This is the Pilot Vanishing Point. For those of you who don't know, it is a retractable fountain pen. It right. clicks out. I promise you, if you have a fountain pen lover in your life, they'll right. know about the Vanishing Point. Yeah, they do. It is the they best, yeah, yeah. the best retractable fountain pen. They might even have one because it's a really popular fountain pen. Right. So this is a 60th anniversary limited edition yeah. of it. So it's really cool. It comes in this red and matte black trim. It also has Pilot 60th anniversary engraved there on this band. And then, as I was saying before, these are limited. So they are actually, um, they only made 2023 of these for the year 2023. So each one of them is serialized with a number. So this one here in front of me is number 654 of 2023 pieces that have been made worldwide. Yeah. So I think that's really cool. And I also just think like, Pilot Vanishing Point, if, you're, if your friend loves fountain pens and they don't have one, they deserve one. <laughs> that's true, that's true. I just, it's, a, it's a really cool historical fountain pen. Yeah. It has historical significance. And it's just a cool thing to own in your collection if you respect fountain pens and use them every day. Yeah, I like that. Um, and oh. one good thing about this pen yeah. is that you can actually swap the nib out. Yes. So I actually do think if someone likes, want to jump from a starter fountain pen to a gold nib. Yeah. Um, this is actually a pretty good choice. Mm -hmm. um, and if the nib is too thin or too thick for them, um, they actually can get a spare nib unit to swap it out. Right. The next one on the tray here is the Twisby Diamond 580, this clear pen in the iris color. Um, Twisby is one of my favorite fountain pen makers i'll say it again and again if you, this is your first time watching the video then it's your first time hearing me say that but i say i say it all, all the time um this colorway the twisby makes like um limited edition colorways and this colorway is really cool it is this kind of like iridescent color made from uh treating metal with heat basically yeah. so um as a result 
what you get is a really unique pen and every single pen has like a different way that the color has changed from yeah. the heat treatment. So each pen is a little bit different from yeah. all the other ones. Now the reason, so the color is really cool and the reason I love Twisbees um, and I think everyone should also own at least one <laughs> Twisby is because I just think it's a very practical pen. It is. It, you, you can put so much ink in it because the ink fills into the barrel. Mm -hmm. Like here, this is where the ink goes. As a result, because it holds so much ink, because of this uh, screw cap mechanism, it screws on. It never dries out. It dry, yeah. That's one of the biggest issues with fountain pens is that they're high maintenance or people perceive them to be high maintenance because they dry out and you yeah. have to wash them out. Right. So you don't have to do that with Twisbees hardly ever because they just don't dry out. Whenever you open them, like this one is a tester that's been in our jar for like probably a year and it's not written with a lot because right, it's right. in the store's yeah. drawer, yeah. but it writes when it needs to. I, I just told a customer yesterday that um, during like pandemic, we had to close the, the shop down. Yeah. Um, and we have all these Twisby testers um, and three months later, there's no right. Yeah, look at this. Like I wasn't even like, sometimes I would test off camera because I'd be afraid that it didn't, <laughs> didn't right. But um, I was, you know, I, I, I'm always confident that it's yeah. all right. I'll be more surprised if they don't write actually. Yeah. Um, so, that's the Twisby Diamond 580. And then the next pen that I want to recommend for the fountain pen collector in your life is this one here. This one, this matte black fountain pen, this really cool modern looking fountain pen is yeah. called the Lamy 2000. Um, it is a piston filling fountain pen, so it fills the same way as the Twisby would. Basically, you put the ink inside the body of the fountain pen, so it also holds a lot of ink, actually. This is a classic piece. Kind of like, I, I'd say like up on the same level as the Vanishing Point. Um, like Timeless. Timeless. Yeah. Timeless. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so intense. <laughs> <laughs> the word timeless? No, the way you said it to me. <laughs> um, so it, it is timeless because it was it was released in like the 1950s, yeah. but this design is so sleek, so modern. Like it's still like we always get customers commenting it on it and saying like, what pen is that? You know? Right. Um, and I feel like I see this pen in so many fountain pen collectors collections, whether they are a vintage pen collector, yes. whether they only collect Japanese nibs, like they'll like the Lamy 2000 because yeah. it's also, it's a timeless piece. It's something cool to add to your collection. So I really believe in that. Um, the yeah. one thing is you should check your friend doesn't already have this pen, oh, that's true. <laughs> right? Like I yeah. feel a lot of people have this pen already. Right. So um, if you're thinking about this pen, just kind of like be like, oh hey, can I see your pen collection again? Yeah, and then make make sure. Let me do that again. Right, right, right. So just make sure, feel it out that they don't already have this pen in their collection because chances are they may. Yeah. If they don't, they'll be happy with it. Yeah, and Let Me Two Thousand has been around for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it has. Okay, so those are the pens that are on the list. Next up, I like that. Yeah, you like it? You approve? Good. Okay. So next up on the list, we have a pad of paper. Actually, it's it's made by Yamamoto Paper in Japan, and it has all of these different papers in it. So 16 different types of fountain pen friendly papers. Your friend who yeah. collects fountain pens will know that you can't write with just any paper with right. fountain pens, some of them really don't do well with the ink. So all of these papers in here are all fountain pen friendly in different ways. And what's really cool is that there is this information sheet about the paper. Mm. Like this is really cool. It's well researched. Yeah. Um, and I just love that people can learn about the paper yeah. that they're using and why one might be uh, something that they like. You know, right. so I recommend this. Yeah, this is by uh, Yamamoto. Yamamoto Paper. They're like a paper distributor in right. Japan. So, um, and this is number seven. This is the seventh edition of this collection that they release. Right. They change it up every time. Right, they change it up because some of the some of the paper, unfortunately, go out of production. Yeah. Yeah. So they have to update the the list. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? You like it? Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah. Any fountain pen lover would love this. Yeah. Very cool. 
Um, next up, we have two more things on the list. Next up, we have an ink. This is a Pilot Iroshi Zuku ink. This is the bottle for Pilot Iroshi Zuku. This is one of those inks that like everyone should try. It's mm. so good. And then Shin Kai is a color that's really popular. It's a nice dark blue color. I'll swatch it out for you guys to see the color. And I was actually inspired by um, our team member Gordon on this one. Oh, I was wondering why I picked Shin Kai. Because he, I, I was looking for an ink recommendation the other day and he just said Shin Kai and I realized that like, it wasn't the color I wanted, no offense. Um, <laughs> but it, because because I know this color so well, I wanted something different. But uh, it's a classic color that I think like a lot of people will appreciate. It's a really nice blue color. Shink Shinkai stands for deep sea. So it's a deep sea blue. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so that's the color. Yeah. It is nice. I think your friend who writes with fountain pens will like it too. What and I, I, I like this color. Uh, it's very nice. It's, it sheens a little bit right here. Yeah, this is, isn't this the ink you said like if you could only choose one ink? This is what you said in that video. Oh no, I said uh, Sailor oh. Blue Black. Oh, right. Okay, all right. Well, it's, Similar. It's, it's the same vibe, <laughs> Similar. Same vibe, same vibe. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, okay. Yeah. Uh, while we are here, you were just using Hokora. Oh, okay. I think that should be on the list as well. That's in another category, oh. but but yes, I will take a second to explain this pen that I was just swatching with. This is the Sailor Hokoro dip pen, and it's a dip pen um, that Sailor released at the end of last year, I wanna say. What's really cool about this dip pen is that you can actually pull the nib out like this and cap the pen. So you can bring it around with you and you can swatch an ink out in seconds like I just did. It's really convenient for people who like swatching ink, which is why it's in my ink section. <laughs> oh, it's, nice. it's in my ink section, yeah, but it's all good. Um, in case you were wondering <laughs> about, you're stepping on my gift guide. <laughs> <laughs> Neil really doesn't know my gift guide. Um, it's a big list. It's a big list. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, if you're watching this video and you're curious what I was just using, it's the Hokuro gift. Yeah, yeah. It's the Hokuro dip pen. Um, and if your fountain pen lover friend is also an ink lover, they'll like this one too. Right. Okay, so that's Sheen Kai, which is in my fountain pen section. Thank okay. you very much. Um, and then next, next up and last up is a pen roll. You are throwing our, yes. our thing again. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Um, this is a pen roll. It has our logo on it. And it also has the Superior logo. Sorry, the Superior Labors logo on it. And you slip your fountain pens in here. You tuck them in. Oh, this might be a bad one to tuck in mm. because of this. That's a good point. Good yeah. point. Um, you tuck your fountain pens in, yeah. like that. You would obviously it has room for more, and then you roll it up like that, and you fasten it with this little kind of like belt fastel, fasten fastener. And I put this on the list because I think that if your fountain pen collector friend or like maybe it's your like partner or spouse or something has too many fountain pens already, which yeah. I know is a real problem. For many of us, then they need somewhere nice to put their fountain pens. Okay. And a lot of times you don't want your fountain pens like clanging into other fountain pens in just a regular pen pouch. Yeah. Um, especially if they're kind of nice, you don't want them to get scratched up. You don't want them getting jostled around in a pen pouch because the ink might come out. Um, so a pen roll is a nice secure way of keeping your fountain pens. Um, you don't have to get our Yoseka fountain pen. <laughs> Pen roll? This one is by Superior Labor. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with your point there. Um, so they have three regular colors usually. Four. Four. Right. Black. Black. Natural. There's light two browns. Brown, two yeah. Brown. yeah. Yeah. And then this one is uh, our collaboration with them. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just like this one. Yeah. But yeah, you can, any of those colors would be beautiful. Um, yeah. 
And so I think that's, that's, that wraps it up for the fountain pen collector gift guide. Um, let us know what you think. I hope this was helpful for you. Like I was saying before, I think it can be scary if you're not a fountain pen first person gifting for a fountain pen person right. in your life. So hopefully this gave you some ideas um, and we didn't lead you astray. But um, let us know in the comments what you think or if there's any like other top gifts for fountain pen lovers that we missed definitely mm -hmm. add on. I'm, I think the comment section is a great place to look for ideas as well. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you all so much for watching and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.